What is going on, guys? We are back on Fizzle bitch Bridges. Fizzle Bitches? The uh, Wizard 35. And we are about to ding 36. I've been trying to wait out the storm. As you can see, it's storming and visibility is garbage. I've been trying to wait it out, but it just won't stop. So we're here. We're going to do one um, because it's going to level us. And um, I'll show you the camp here. We are in Western Karana. Uh, I did this on the Necro. We are doing towers four and five, and they're a bit spread apart. They're good towers, so killing these is bad bad for your faction. With Kinos and uh, related factions, there is tower number nine, which is the good, uh, the corrupt guards, which will give you good faction. But that one's always taken. Somebody actually just left, but um, I'm not gonna do that because it's too, uh, uh, it, there's too much going on with it, like, you know, because I want more than two mobs, so I'd probably come down here and try to, like, grab the barbarians or whatever and quad them, and I feel like it's just gonna, too many people are gonna pop in and be like, hey, are you doing this, hey, are you doing this, because it's a very, very, uh, high contested camp. So I'm just gonna do four and five, which oftentimes are open. Um, it's been camped a lot lately, I've been checking on it. But it's really slim pickings in these levels. Um, so at number four, we have these two guards. Guard Justin is actually level 35. So he's the same level as us. So he's a white con to us. The other three are blues. Um, so it does make it a little awkward. And sometimes I do have to zone. I do have to zone because I get too many resists. And... And... Um, you know, I just run out of mana or something like that. Um, oh, I don't have my shield on. I was talking too long or prepping and talking too long. Anyways, so we're just gonna go for it. It's fine So we're gonna try to make our way to the other tower without getting lost Because we can't see anything visibility is garbage uh, We're just gonna do one of these and then I'm gonna pause it and try to wait for visibility to clear up But I did want to get one in here Like I said because I am about to level and hopefully this is not a fail. Hopefully. This is a good one. We found the guard tower here. So this is good. I like to spam my staff on them just to reduce their chance of their chance of resisting at least a little bit. Okay. Let's bring them together here. Let's try not to get hit. Same old quad and stuff. Different day. Having a ton of fun doing this. It's just uh, during these levels, I'm finding it like we're just in kind of a spot. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's going to happen. It's going to happen. You just hope that it doesn't happen twice. Like one resist is kind of fine. Okay, that's really good. Um, but when they start resisting like four times in a row, then you just got to you gotta basically zone. I'm not going to have the mana for it. We do have harvest, which actually just popped. Um, but it's like a 10 second cast and then it stuns you for like five seconds. Um, so it's not very usable in the mid pull. Like you, you can get away with it. You can run really far and then do it. But honestly, um, not that great to do in mid fight. Although I do it sometimes in certain circumstances. Uh, maybe, you know, all of them are dead. All the 30s are dead, but Justin, the 35, is still alive. But maybe he's at 20%, so he's, like, running. That's a good time to do it. So you can finish him off. I'm going to try to keep this guard tower in line of sight so that I don't get lost completely and I can find my way back. I can med at either one of them. It doesn't really matter which one I'm medding at. Now, if somebody comes along, these are technically, I guess, two camps. So if somebody comes along, they can take one of them. Um, so we're going to quad as long as we can hold both. Uh, I don't... Quadding two, I guess you do if you're desperate. You're not quadding anymore, but you know what I mean. <clears throat> and, uh... But... Ideally, obviously, to be most efficient, you want to do four at a time. So we're trying to keep it there. Oh. Okay. Um, 
Okay. So we, uh, we took too long. Okay. This is probably unnecessary. Hopefully it sticks. All right. Let's go find Justin. He's way over here. So we're in a bit of a predicament. We're going to use our mana stone. He is hauling ass. Come on, brother. I need to catch him and nuke him before. And please don't resist. If he resists, that's a disaster is when they resist. Oh, man. Come on. He's. This will do about 20%. So we need to get him before, uh, before he catches us. All right. What do we have here? Let's see if we... No. We don't have enough mana, so we're going to have to hit the stone a few more times. Okay, this guy should run. So now we can med. See what kind of a disaster that can be. Um, I would say mainly that happened because the snare ran out. And then the snare ran out because we had to snare multiple times because of the resist. And then we have to re-wrangle them together, in which normally on normal mobs or whatever, I would just drop another snare. But on this one, we're really, really, really tight with mana. So I'm trying to snare as little as possible. If I if I know that I have, like, I'm going to have leftover mana, I'll just snare again and try to get them all snared on the same time frame. But it's not, it doesn't always work out that way. Let's see here. I could, oops. I can probably kill him with two flame shocks. This is my lesser mana nuke. I'm just gonna get a tick of mana before I nuke him again. And again, hope for no resists here. When they resist in this situation, it's kind of a annoying. All right, so we did it. So we get one fine steel sword, um, and then this guy drops a fine steel sword plus a shield, which the swords sell for like four and a half plat. Shields are one and a half plat. These, you can't turn in these bracers because they're the good guard bracers. That's a reason the other, the bad guards are, the corrupt guards are so sought after. Uh, because you can turn their bracers in for XP and it's pretty good XP still at this level. And this one's a rusty, so you just take his money. And then I'm going to sit and med. But we can use harvest. So we'll go ahead and use that so you can see, take a look at that. I'm going to wait for a, a med tick and then use it. If you use it right after a med tick, you'll only lose one med tick because a med tick's every six seconds. So two med ticks is 12 seconds. The cast time is 10 seconds. So even though it stuns you, you can sit down, but you can't move or anything. But you still can sit down. So if you do it correctly, you'll only lose one sit tick. And this all sounds like really finicky and everything. Oh, by the way, we did get the ding. That's, hmm. How close? We were at 86%? We got 7%? I gotta look at back on that. Usually I get, usually I get about five, uh, six percent, like pretty consistently, and then occasionally you get a five percenter in there. But I feel like that gave me seven percent. Oh, we were in a hell level. Oh shoot, we were in a hell level. Holy crap, this is gonna be good XP. That's something I didn't take into account. So I've been doing quads here, here and there when I pop in, if it's open, do a few quads and bail. Um, I just haven't had that much time the last couple of days, but all of my experience here on this guy quadding has been in a hell level and I haven't realized that. This is going to be really good experience. Holy crap. So I got 7% off of that one. 4% of the 7 was in a hell level. I wonder how much I'll get. Um, I wish it would stop storm. It's been storming for an hour straight or something or maybe more, but. The Karanas, am I right? <clears throat> Anyways. Wow. That's actually exciting. Um, I was getting like 42% an hour here in a hell level. So I'm curious where I'll land. And now it's going to be screwed up because I've been sitting here AFK, getting ready to record. Uh, you know, like lollygagging. I went and sold some stuff that I was holding on to previously. There is the Barbarian Village. Uh, number 13 on the map. So when you're quadding these two in between quads, when you're waiting for them to respawn, it's going to screw with your mana. But you can run down here to the Barbarian Village, and there's like a neutral Barbarian you can sell to. She gives good prices, too. But um, 
that's very interesting uh encourage encouraging and like uh you know looking up looking up to the future on that one i want to see how much i get a full a full kite in a uh a level that's not that's not a hell level holy crap if i get seven you know seven percent a, a pull or maybe even eight percent a, a pull that would be fantastic that'd be super cool so we'll find out there i should put my shield on now if that it's ran out but I would say usually, typically, if everything goes well and that did not go well, that was a pull that did not go well, uh, it could have gone worse. I could have had a zone, like one or two mobs, it happens. Every once in a while, one of the mobs, like maybe just in the 35, will just resist like four of the, sp of the AoEs. And you don't really know who's resisting what unless you can really pay attention to the text in the mid of the pull. But sometimes at the end of the, at the, end of the AoE... You'll look and Justin will still have 40% life left. And it's like, all right, come on. <clears throat> so you need like, you know, probably two big nukes and a small nuke. And you'll be at zero mana. And you'll be like, I'm just going to zone the guy. Like, what are you going to do? So uh, that that's like worst case scenario. Um, that one wasn't good though. But I'd say on a good one where everybody dies and you're, at, you're probably at 1% or less mana. Um, I then use harvest. I then hit the mana stone a few times. And then I sit. By the time everything respawns, I want to say on a normal good kite, I have about 75% mana. So I'm not ready to go. But that'll change with time. Um, I think if as I get a couple of levels, my mana pool will get bigger. I'll get a couple levels higher on the 30s. Plus, I'll get at least, you know, the 35 won't be a white anymore. He'll start, he's a dark blue now, but he'll become more and more of a dark blue. And, um, and it'll just become more efficient. We'll start getting less XP as well outside of the hell level situation, but, um, you know, towards the end of the sisters, the sisters were the last ones I was doing pretty heavily. Towards the end there, I was just, like, murdering them, and I was full mana before they spawned again, and they spawned really fast. They're, like, a six-minute spawn. Um, I think these are closer to maybe an eight-minute spawn. Um, anyways, so let me go ahead and pause it, and, uh, we'll wait for the storm to pass, and see, uh, if we can show how much XP that we're getting. Per pull. All right, so I'm in mid pull, but the storm just cleared up and it's daytime. So, ah, oh. ah, oh. well, we lost our camp, <clears throat> or we lost half of our camp. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. Well, there you have it. I wanted to see how much XP we'd get, but I guess we'll have to continue this another time. We got our level, so there's that, but that's unfortunate. That's a bummer. And, uh, I mean, obviously they just got here, so they're not going to leave anytime soon. Um, and this guard's dead. So someone took this camp. Um, it was announced earlier that they were leaving. Nobody said anything, but obviously somebody took it. So... They drop Rusty. I mean, I don't see anybody here. I don't see anybody here. So we're going to take it. I mean, there's a dead... I mean, maybe that Necro is just going tower to tower. But I don't know. I don't see anybody. Usually, you'd be sitting right in front of the tower if you're taking it. So we're just going to take it. And they're both up. Nobody's around. I don't know what these con... Blue... And blue. Well, those are mine. And blue. Can we get that last one? Okay. Even better. Obviously, we don't want to run those <laughs> that one tower all the way to this tower, but we're doing it this time um, for this occasion. I mean, there is a, sh a shot. Nice. Without that 35 in there, they all... all all uh 
landed. That was really good. This should go better, even though we did get a resist. And we got a partial. Calling it close here. Doing back-to-back -back nukes here, but holy moly, like... <clears throat> this guard McCluskey's, uh... He's not messing around. He's a beefcake. Because I'm running out of mana. I'm feeling like I should hit the mana stone a couple times. Alright, one of them died. This guy must be absorbing all the partials. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to need to finish him off. He's at 18%, so we want to ideally nuke him before he gets to 20%. How much mana do I need for Ice Shock? We need 160 mana. So one more tick. We should be able to get that, hopefully. And he'll stay at either 19 or 20%, but this should kill him if it lands full. Or he'll resist. Uh, uh, well, all right. I think he should turn around and run at me at some point when he gets to 21%, I think. Obviously, you could see that uh, guards are a pain in the ass, but we don't have much of a choice right now because everything's taken. I mean, if this could kill him, that would be great. Eek. We're gonna get pretty low here, but we just want to freaking kill him already. Let's get a monotech. Oh, for the love of God. This is the life you live when you're trying to quad guards. It's not the best. Uh, but again, beggars can't be choosers, and this is what we got. So, this is what we're doing. As for the XP... We were 3% in. We got 3% off of those first ones, so it's not as big as we'd imagined. Please, just land full damn. Oh my fucking god. Okay. Well, we're just gonna... I mean, I don't care at this point. We're just gonna keep going. We're just gonna keep u using our mana stone. We just need the guy dead. Like, there's nothing else to it. I could harvest, actually. But we've already mana stoned all the way down. So after this next tick, I will try one more... Freaking nuke. Come on. You you can't make this shit up. Alright, well, we're gonna harvest now. Oh, man. Either It's either a full resist or a partial land. Over and over and over. And the guy's only level 30. I'm 36. That's just guards for you. Like, there's no, there's no other way around it. Guards are just high MR beefcakes. Uh, but it is annoying. Sure. I rooted him. Cool. I'm wasting mana now. Alright. Damn. Oh, short sword? I'll take that. I don't know what it sells for. This dude's been AFK here for like... This pizza party guy, he's been AFK there for like three days straight, at least. All right, well, there you have it. So we actually got up to 8%, so we got 5 off of that. It's not um, anything special, but the other quad I was doing had one mob that was 5 level higher than the rest. So if we had that mob in this pull, then it might be a different story. Um... But there you go. I'm going to figure out which guards are who. Because I don't remember anymore. And I'm going to loot their bracers. Maybe you can get wolf form and turn them in or something. 
if I'm able to hold on to this camp, I don't know. But it sounds like people are gonna do the lawn outside. So it's a good it's a good time to to go ahead and pause it here. I don't know, we'll unpause it when we get an actual like kind of a quad camp. Um I, I have been checking giant skeletons and cyclopses and stuff. It seems to always be taken. Um, so I'll continue to find, look and try to find a, a good quad spot that's not guards, and then uh, we'll take it from there. So it, <clears throat> it appears that the uh, necro left, and you can actually see the tower from here, and you can see the guards are up, so nobody's over there. So we're gonna try this again. It's daytime in game. The weather is clear. The guards are up. We're back at the corrupt. Uh, we're back at the um, good guards. It is a little bit of a little bit of a run here, but it's worth it, in my opinion, to get four kills at once. There are guards in Northern Karana at the bridge, but. There's like a paladin upstairs that, um, although he seems like he should be far enough away, some sort of vertical aggro, he still aggros. And so, he's a, and he's a paladin, so he'll start nuking you and rooting you and God knows what else. So that's no good. I do have a place to go um, in mind at 40. So, just working on getting to level 40, and then I've got a good spot that I think will be open all the time. But only time will tell. By the time I get there, it'll probably be not open. Super good. Everything, all four snares landed. That's perfect. I really hope uh, you can't hear, like, the lawn people outside, but they're there, and they seem to be right outside my window. I don't know why, it's all frickin' rocks right there, but... Okay. Let's go ahead and get this done. Hopefully, we have a better pull here than the previous two. The previous two were obviously nasty. So I muted my mic there for a second because they were literally at my window, like just blasting a leaf blower or something. So I wanted to mute that. All right, but anyways, moving on. So far, so good. Looks looks good so far. Someone died there. Due to their high MR and just not knowing who's gonna resist what when. Oftentimes one will die early and then one will stay alive. Nice. So that was a really good one. This probably won't kill. Oh, it did. Oh my gosh. Super nice. I was left with 13% mana. That's actually really good, believe it or not. Alright, so, what did we get off of that? Shoot, I forgot where we started. We were at 8%, right? So, we got 6%. So, it's still nothing crazy, but we gained a level, and we're getting the same amount of XP. I guess that's a win. Alright, terribly sorry about all of that, that last pull there. I didn't think it was going to be that wild with the, uh, the lawn dudes. No, I wasn't even sure that they were at my house because, um, I mean, they used to come on Fridays, and now it's kind of just all over the place. Today is not Friday. Well, actually, today probably is Friday uh, to the viewer, <laughs> but today is not Friday for me recording this.
But let's get another one in here. And let's see if we can get another good one because we had two not that great ones and then we had one good one. So let's try to even it out and have two good ones with two not so great ones. We did get a level now, which I think usually is about 40 mana. It's not a ton. But when you combine that with the all the nukes are all going up like four damage maybe per per mob. And then the snare might last a little longer. Hopefully. I don't even know if that's a thing. But I think it might be. Uh, maybe reduce the amount of uh, resists you get. Obviously, we got resisted there. It's guards at the end of the day. But all these little things and then... Oh, man. I'm going to go ahead and hit the mana stone so we start regenerating life. bring them in together here so what's gonna happen though is we're in another situation where if I don't snare them again then uh, the snare might run out so we just got to get to work we just got to start nuking ASAP because I don't want to have to snare again because in in uh, in reality one of the four is gonna resist again probably it's tough to to hit four guards with magic spells and expect all four of them not to resist. It doesn't happen that common. So we're just going to start nuking. And just hope for the best, I guess. I don't want to have to snare again. Because snaring again is more like snaring, a, you know, a few more times. And we don't have the mana for that. So we got to watch out for the animals a little bit uh, because potentially they can absorb part of the part of the nuke. So we got one guard down. Seem to be doing pretty good here. Get another guard down. Three guards down and Justin is not stopping. So he's at pretty high health here. He's at 27%. Oh, he's coming. I'm going to let him hit me. Oh, you interrupted me. Damn. I was hoping for no interruption there. But as you can see there, see how much more life he has than the rest? Just because he's been resisting more. Now, this kind of makes sense because he is level 35, whereas they're level 30. But it doesn't always turn out that way. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to regenerate our mana um, until we get a... Is it 160? We'll actually use Harvest on the next tick. Oops. Because regenerating 160 mana is going to take some time. Plus, and then what happens in the previous case where if he resists again, you know. So I'm going to get a little closer to him here. But I'm going to continue to get my ticks. And then I'll nuke him in between a tick here. And just hope he doesn't resist. Perfect. So not too bad. Like that, that situation happens a good amount of times. And we're just hoping that it happens less and less. As, you know, as I get a couple levels here or there. But it seems to be what I've learned in my small amount of wizard play is that when you first kind of outgrow your current camp and you're moving on to a newer, higher level camp, this is kind of how it starts. And then you get a couple levels. I mean, that's kind of the, the play for every class, I guess. But I feel it more so in this quadding situation where the first couple levels are tough and then you can then you get better and better and i think i think with other classes when it gets easier you just pull more whereas here that's not what's happening we don't pull more we're always pulling four so you really see how much easier 
and um, how much less you have to try or how are how many less tools you really need to pull out of your bag as time goes on. Whereas if I'm on my Necro and it starts getting easier and easier, I'm looking for another mob to pull. And then, okay, now three is easy. I'm looking for a fourth mob to pull. And you just keep pulling more and more and more. So you're never getting to a point to where you can chill because you just, you just keep pulling more. Unless you're like really dad camping just two, which does happen, I guess. Um, but there you go. So we got some looks. We got some looks. Um, the other spot that we're thinking that we've been thinking of is like Wraith Mountains, the Cyclopses and the Skeletons that I mentioned earlier. I've gone there a few times, and it just seems heavily camped. There's a lot of people camping that. Um, oh shit, don't aggro on me. These freaking lions, they'll, they're green, but they'll just aggro for no freaking reason. Oh, come on, bro. Like, it's just a waste of mana and time, because mana is time and it's like bro like that's annoying because it was really close i moved further and then it decided to to run at me like a delayed reaction whatever anyways um that's part of killing the guards too is the guards would kill that if i wasn't killing the guards so rock paper scissors but uh another spot is outside of it seems like the best spot honestly is probably the knolls outside of split pot but that's also heavily can there's always somebody there there's like necros mages shamans other wizards druids everybody and their mom is is at that camp uh it's kind of the same for wraith mountains so far in my visits it's been less camped but there's always somebody there there's a bard there and then look at this all there's gonna be a bard here slash who all i don't know about this time but agok there's two bards. There's unlimited amounts of bards in Og. Every day it's a new bard. Uh, <laughs> I've been slash hooing Ogok every day for like four four days in a row, multiple times a day, and it's just always a new bard there. So bards just and it was like that on my necro too. When I was leveling my necro and I was in like the level range of Ogok, I was trying to get in there to like for some easy little kiting in the quad area, and um. It's just bards nonstop, so that seems to be like bards favorite home and they have it on lock, so uh, It's just not gonna happen um, So our options like I was saying our options are limited I will mention I did go to butcher block because there's like three goblins uh, In the mountains and it's not a quad. It's a trio of goblins but it's an option. I was like, I had no, I went to every camp I could think of. I'm doing research online. Uh, I've said this before, but most guides are suggesting Kunark and Vilius zones. So you'll have like 20 options and only five of them are classic. Like 15 of them are Kunark or Vilius. So you got to just instantly throw those out the window. Then you're looking at these like five different options and then you go around and look and they're all taken. And not necessarily by quarters. They're taken by anybody because everybody's looking for XP and everybody's trapped in classic, right? We all know this. We play here for the most part. Um, but I did try the butcher block ones and I took uh, the... Come on, bro. This is what happens when you're just sitting here yapping and not really paying attention to your surroundings. Also killing the guards. The guards are thinning out the herd, if you would. But every time I nuke, that's like 10% mana, so it's like a longer, you know, these guys are gonna, they're starting to respawn and I'm only at 44% mana. See, so this is like not good. So I gotta pay attention. If, I mean, if I look this way, the guards will kill them. So I could just look this way pretty much. Anyways, I forgot what we were talking about. Oh, the goblins. So I killed the goblins, and they're on like, I'm not even kidding you. I sat there and waited 20 minutes for them to respawn, and they just didn't respawn. And then I was just like, well, I got to wait for them to respawn. I'll just get one more before I leave. But then I was just like, screw this, and I bailed. So the goblins and butcher block on this server, and I mean, this server has fast respawn, so maybe it's just normal. It's probably normal respawn rate, but I'm just used to the fast respawns of this server, and it is crazy long i'm i'm telling you it's like 20 minutes or something it's crazy uh so here we are so we're holding this down what else what other options we have we went over them um, i'll try to get some footage of a different option so we'll probably pause it here um 
but we'll try to get footage of a different option. I just have to find it open. So I'll work on that. All right, so we find ourselves over at Specs in uh, Ocean of Tears. Fast forward, I am level 39 now. I stayed at those guards for a long time. And it got easier, but it never got easy. They resist a lot. So we got a little bit of safe XP here. I don't think this is going to work, but I wanted to try it. <clears throat> so I did get Steel Skin, which is a damage absorb. Which costs um, a reagent, like 1.5 plat, a jacinth or something. Um, and I guess I could tell you. Jasper. And these are going to constantly... Uh, life tap me. So I'll, pro I'll, I'll likely die here, I think? I don't know. I wanted to try it out. Now, I can't let him hit me. And then they'll they'll range uh, life tap me. Um, what else? Well, their MR is lower than the guards. So that's really what we're looking for here. But uh, let's see how this is going to go. Let's see. And there it is. Okay. Oh, they're fast. We'll just run them through this other one. So I thought we would try this for the first time live. Um, so that you all can watch me die as I just get completely destroyed by live taps. Pretty fast. Okay, so we got them all with that. You know what I should have done is put another AoE on my... On my board here, or on my whatever. I might want to do that. Uh, direct damage, fire. Let me run down here, actually. Uh, we might want to hit him with that. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? I don't understand where they are. Okay, they're still up there. That seems weird. Okay, okay. I don't... Why can't I hit them? Oh, yeah, we're gonna die. So there it is. We would, we thought we'd try it, but they just constantly uh, live tap you. This is exactly what I thought would happen. Um, so no surprise there. Uh, let's die on the edge of the island here. Come back for my corpse. Actually, if I can get it far enough away, I could gate, I guess. I wonder if I can get far enough away. Why am I running so slow? Oh, because I'm low on life, duh. Um, hmm, I wonder if I can gate. Probably not. I'm probably gonna get clipped right here by a live tap. I guess I didn't think about an exit plan. I was just gonna take the death. I think we got enough space. <laughs> There's the answer. Dying doesn't bother me too much um, when when I'm quadding and stuff because it's just pretty fast. XP is pretty fast. Like I'm, I lose a little over a quad. I lose like a quad and a half. Not a big deal. Also, you gotta go get your body and stuff, so that kind of sucks, I guess. But um, there it is. Uh, so we knew that would happen. Now I, that's why I don't like like um, the spec. Spectres in general is because of the life tap. The life tap bothers me. It's very frequent. It's like every 10 seconds. But obviously when there's four of them, you're getting hit with four every 10 seconds. Um, but, you know, for science, put on the old damage shield and just see just see what's going on. And, uh, and there you have it. I did it for the memes. 
not gonna happen. Now, naturally on like a Necro or something, you can dot it and, and stay out of range or leave the pet on it and stay out of range or something like that, but just not a big fan of, of Spectres. Everybody is a big fan of Spectres, um, but I'm not. But I thought I would give it a give it a shot because it seems it seems like a good idea. Like if they didn't uh, if they didn't live tap you, you know, it's a great a great option. But I think most people knows it's not a good option for quadding because it's hard to take four at a t four nukes at a time, four live taps at a time. Even though the live taps are fairly weak, it's gonna wear you down pretty quick. Um, anyway, so that was just for the memes. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, but we are level thirty nine now, so checking in on that. Uh, I've been just sitting at the the guards. There's not really much of a better choice. Um, it would be cool to get the citizens, the dwarf citizens, but it just can't happen. Like there is a druid at the docks, literally 24/7. It's insane. And um, there's the other two that are both a two pole. Um, probably not really able to get both of those and so you're just doing a two pull so it just doesn't seem worth it when you're quadding right now there's um, a place where I can go kill guards where there is where I could do uh, level 35 guards currently I'm pretty much just doing three level 30 guards and one level 35 guard and I can tell by just with that 135 guard in the quad I can tell that I I don't think I can take three level 35 guards. I just don't think I can do it. Um, even though I did just level uh, to 39, I just don't think I can do it. Um, I'm going to try at level 40. Uh, that'll be another little boost in, um, in mana. Uh, my AoE should go up like four damage per mob, so when it lands... And uh, and hopefully just you know take the resists down a little bit. At the end of the day, they are guards, so not they're never going to stop resisting. Their magic resistance is 75, opposed to the average mob, which is 35. Big big difference, more than double. Um, so I don't know I don't know what to do to finish out the video. I'm level 39 now, so I can't I don't think I can. I don't think I can do the Cyclopses or Giant Skeletons. I think at 39, they're light blue. I know some of the Giant Skeletons were already light blue like two or three levels ago, so I think they're all going to be light blue at this point. Um, so, I don't know. It might be more guards just to finish off the video, unless I can find something else out, so we'll see. All right, so we are back at the usual suspects, the guard tower. <clears throat> so we'll kind of take a look and see how it is to do these guard towers now at level 39. The uh, the mobs are level 30. And uh, so we can see here we're at 18% into our level. So we'll go ahead and take a look and see how much this gives. One, three of them are level 30, one of them is level 35. There is that other camp I spoke about earlier that has, they're all level 35, so we can move up to there. But as you will likely see, no matter what level the guards are, even the level 30 guards, because of their high MR, they still resist snare and stuff. And you don't have to snare, I suppose. You can run just max range and test your range with the insta-clicky staff and then just nuke and just not rely on snares. That is an option. And I might end up having to do that, like when it comes to the next camp. But seeing as guard Justin is the level 35 guard, seeing as how how much life he typically has of still at the end of my rotation, I'm not confident that I have enough mana to take them all out. As you can see here, well, this time it was the level 35 that resisted guard Justin. But sometimes it's not him. Sometimes it's a... Well, he resisted again. Sometimes it's a level 30 that'll resist. And, you know, it's pretty random. Okay, this is... This is too much. It's because I'm recording. Alright, well... 
This isn't good. I'm gonna actually use my monostone here. Because I had to root so many times. Usually if I only have to root like another two times, I can still like pull it off without doing another root. I'm gonna just do a, I'm just hope this hits all four. It was interrupted. I'm gonna need it at this point. I'm wasting tons of time. Um, so it missed somebody that's not Justin. So I'm gonna do one more. Come on. Why? Is there some sort of lag? There, that hit them all, so we're good there. So now we're going to hope we have enough mana to finish the job. We do have Harvest up. So, you know, if it comes down to just Justin being alive or something like that, we can use Harvest. Um, I was using two different spells, two different AoE spells, and I was using an instant clicky to reset the cooldown so that I could use back-to-back -back two spells. But it's um, we're at a point where I don't think that that's efficient anymore. Uh, as you gain levels, your spells do a little a little bit more damage, like four or five, six more damage. And then, you know, you multiply that by four targets. Um, but my earlier spell, my Column of Lightning, my old spell, from like level 24, it's no longer increasing in damage when I level. Now, when I first got Circle of Force, it was at its weakest that it's ever going to be. And then what ended up happening is Circle of Force now over the last, you know, four levels has increased in damage over and over and over and column of lightning has stopped increasing in damage it's it's where it's going to be now i also have a new nuke hopefully he won't resist this although it is magic i probably shouldn't use this probably shouldn't use that because it's magic but it does a lot of damage so we can nuke him down there but as you saw justin was left alive with 20 life 20 percent life left when they all died so if this were the level 35 uh, guards that I'm speaking of, they would all be left with 20% life there, and I'd have to AoE nuke them probably three more times. Now, if I didn't have to do so many AoE uh, snares, that probably wouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, but I, you know, they're going to resist more often. They're going to resist my AoE nukes more often. They're going to resist everything more often. So saying. It's only going to take three more AoE nukes is actually being generous. It might take five or six more AoE nukes. And I'm just not convinced that I have the amount of mana to do that. Now, uh, one other thing that I found out is using the um, steel skin uh, rune on myself that absorbs damage, the one we use, you know, to meme out on the specters. Uh, that one, I'm realizing that it also absorbs the damage. Now, I just didn't think of this, but it absorbs the damage for Mana Stone as well. So you can click Mana Stone a few times, and it, it'll just absorb that damage. So if you want to trade uh, cash for Mana, it's an option. You can just cast that on yourself in between pulls, regenerate that Mana, so you start your pull with 100% Mana. And then if you had to, you can use that to absorb some of the damage so you could use your monostone more in a pull you're gonna have more downtime between pulls but essentially that'll increase your total mana pool that's a way to do it i think something i can do though is pick up a pair of loam in loam encrusted pants get myself some sort of cloak with some mana on it a loam cloak or something i haven't seen a loam cloak for sale ever yet not to say they haven't been for sale haven't seen one i've been keeping an eye out I've seen the pants. They're going up for about 800 plat now. Maybe 700, maybe. Uh, but I can get the pants and I can get some sort of back piece, anything. I don't know how many options there are. I can increase my mana pool just ever so slightly. And then I can also increase my mana pool by getting one more level. That should give me like another 40 mana or so. Getting up to level 40. If I do all of those things, I can then go to the other camp now my circle of force hopefully will do a little more damage as well hopefully it'll reduce my resistance resists a little bit so that's the play is i'm going to try these other guards out when i get to level 40. but until then i think i'm just going to go ahead and, and keep it here 
And then another thing I can do, like I mentioned, is I can use my steel skin. And if I have a really bad pull or have a lot of resist during the pull, I can then use my monostone more to just try to get out of a bad situation if it comes down to that. I don't want to consistently rely on that. But if there's bad RNG and it comes down to that, it's a good option to, to have. Uh, the steel skin lasts like over an hour. You know, so that's fine. I don't have to use it the first pull or the second pull. It's like whenever I get a bad pull. Instead of zoning or whatever it has to do. Um, something else that I did try was I uh, I found a hill giant and uh, Froon and Brune and whatever, and they were all next to each other. So I grabbed them all thinking, like, you know, I'll AOE them down. Uh, but then I found out that uh, Cyclopses and uh, Hill Giants run slightly different speed. So that didn't, that didn't end well. So I had to just abandon that. Also, Hill Giants have a crap load of life. I mean, I knew that, but holy smokes, like... I don't even think I don't even think I could AOE downhill giants at this point. Not not right now. They have too much life. I would run out of mana, I think. Which is kind of crazy because like I do have pretty much some of the best buyable gear. Obviously, I can get a better headpiece. Um so that's something I can look into as well. It's a piece of crap. I can quest the mask and squeeze out two more intellect out of that, which I'm already over 200 intellect. I have 209, so you're only going to get so much out of that those intellect. But it's something, obviously I could get a better robe. There's a couple different options, including the Loam one now, which has 80 mana attached to it. That's if you want to spend, you know, 2k plus or whatever it is at this point. Um, you know, there's a couple things. There's not really much um, outside of, you know, raiding and, and getting some raid gear. Which, obviously I'm level 39, so <laughs> we're not doing that. But for my level, my gear is actually really good. So my mana pool is where it should be. Um, but there are a couple things I can do. And then it's just getting raw mana at this point. Finding, you know, instead of increasing my intelligence, just getting raw mana. But, uh, you know, that's a whole thing and you have to finagle some stuff. So, I don't know. It's something we could look into. Alright, let's go ahead and pull these guys. I would say one out of like every six poles or so I'll get um, where none of them resist. The AoE snare lands on all four. That's when it comes to guards again. We're talking about guards with 75 MR. It's not good. It's like two an hour or less. <laughs> it's not good at all. So uh, it's a constant thing now. Oh, my greater shielding's running out. No big deal. We don't plan on getting hit. But the other option, and I do this when I need to sell off, I go to the Barbarian Village, which is way over there, and I'm just trying to be efficient. So I run over there while I'm um, AoEing these guys down. And when I do that, I don't snare them. So I just run max range, and then I hit them, or run max range, hit them, run max range. Now you do save mana doing that, but it takes longer, and you cover a like an incredible amount of distance you go i can make it all the way to the vendor all the way to the shore before i actually end up killing them now you could just go halfway turn around come back it's just annoying so this time we got three resists out of four which means we might get another resist which we did because odds are you're not going to <laughs> I mean that's pretty bad uh, that's pretty bad all right this is fine though like we should have enough time so we don't need to like gather them up together and then snare them again just gather them up here and then we should We should have enough time. One thing you could do to kill them faster, and this is what I was doing when I was having more trouble. It's I, I find that it's what I was talking about earlier. I find it to be less efficient right now, but is using both of the AOE nukes. So nuking with that one, using the insta-clicky, and then immediately look, nuking with the other AOE nuke. We'll just do it here for just to do it. 
although I've been doing it in the past, is hitting him there and then instantly doing this the other nuke. And hitting him with that. I mean, although it's like a little bit of less efficient at this point, I think that uh, it's faster though, right? You'll kill the mobs faster, so if you're on some sort of time crunch, you know snare is going to run out before you're going to finish. That's something you can do. So it looks like all of them are dead but Justin. And actually, I'm going to use the Ice Shock. Should get resisted less since it's not magic. Plus, if they're under 20%, it'll kill them. Ice Shock will kill them. If they're over 20%, maybe that's when I try to use the magic nuke. Because it will it does more. It probably does about 25%. I actually forgot to look at how much XP uh, these are giving. I pointed it out, I think a poll ago or so. And uh, I wasn't really paying attention. But I think we're getting uh, about 4 or 5% per poll. It might be 4 sometimes and 5 the other times. But um, that's about it. I don't think I can possibly spend any more time recording a video on this camp. This is going to be my last time at this camp, I think. If all goes well, I will be moving to another camp after this. Um, so what I'll do here is I'll go ahead and pause it here and then um, I think I'll just play it out. I'll stay here until I level. I'll unpause it one last time uh, prior to leveling and we'll just finish off the video there. All right, so we may be leveling here. <clears throat> here. But maybe not as well. Uh, so we have, sometimes I get 5% on the pull, and we only have 5% left, so I think I'm going to level. But maybe not. <clears throat> uh, we'll do a shout out to Azuro. Came, came over to the camp, he did a double take, and asked if I was uh, on YouTube. And then uh, had some kind words and all that. Said he just happened to be watching some of it today, and then he just happened to run by me. So what's up, dude? So this may be my last pull here. Actually, I'll probably do a couple more. Uh, you don't want to die at, on a hell level and D level. I've said this plenty of times, but you lose double. So um, I'll probably end this when I level, but I'll stick around and get like... 10% of a level so that uh, if I happen to die on my first pull at a new camp, I don't uh, lose so much. There's always one. And a lot of the time it's Justin. Damn, Justin. Ooh, that's close. I don't mind getting hit, but I don't want to uh, snare myself because I call it too close. My new nuke is uh, magic, and so they're just resisting a lot. I tried it out while I wasn't recording and all that. And uh, it just gets resisted far too much by these mobs, at least. So I've been using my previous big nuke, which is a ice shock. Every once in a while, the quad will walk over an animal, or an animal will, you know, it'll have like a perfect collision course. And uh, if you happen to nuke right there, you can one of them can absorb your nuke which in some cases if it doesn't one shot them I guess could be annoying they're not going to be snared um, but mostly it just is annoying because one of the mobs isn't getting hit by the nuke overall this is a good camp uh, it's my second time doing this camp. 
did it on the Necro as well. As you can see, Guard Justin's got a lot of health. I think the other ones, I think one of them's gonna die right here. He's still at 48%. Yep, yeah, one of them died there, if, or maybe two. It's usually Justin and... Uh, let me see how much life he has. He's gonna run. So we'll just nuke him down. Justin will break his snare, probably. See if uh, see if I can get a nuke off before his snare breaks. Oh, there it goes. So now he's running. Unfortunately, I could kill him with the magic nuke, but it's just gonna get resisted. So I just choose not to use it, but this will put him at like 0% as you see there. So I'll use a small nuke to kill him. And that did ding me. All right. And, uh, oh shoot. And that brings us to, uh, I don't even have room for it. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh well. Actually, we're running out of food, or the food is running out. Oh, well, and anyways, um, that brings us into another hell level. We are level 40, so another hell level, like we were saying, can't die here. But we're gonna have to sit through another hell level. That's another reason to change, to change the location, uh, to the higher mobs, is because it's gonna be, you know, a struggle to get through this, through this level, being a hell level and all. It may take me three or four pulls to get to... I'm imagining it might take me up to four pulls to get over the 10% mark. Just to be safe. So I can die. I mean, all we really need, I think, is 8%. Shouldn't, and we won't de-level, but... Better safe than sorry. Just get over the 10% mark. Um, but uh, the next time you see me, we will be at a new camp. It may be guards again. I honestly hope that we find a better alternative than the guards. We may find ourselves, you know, in a group again, because we will group here and there for fun. But uh, the next solo, the one I know I'll probably be able to do is that guard camp. But I would love to get a hold of those uh, dwarf sisters, the two sets of dwarf sisters. I just, I just don't know when that's going to happen. Maybe on a day off, which won't, I won't have a day off for probably another five or six days or something. But. Uh, it's possible if I wake up super early on my day off, or if I stay up super late the day before my day off, maybe I can get one of these camps. But the thing about the camps like this, and although this camp's been okay with me, or to me, it's not as contested as some of the camps, like the Dwarf Sister camps. The Dwarf Sister camp, if you're going back and forth, surely you're going to lose one of them at some point. Somebody's going to roll up, nobody's around, they're going to take the camp. Now that has happened to me at this camp before. But I think it's just less common, and you can get away with it uh, more often, not getting uh, not getting your camp taken. But anyways, it's hard to hold down two camps at once, is my point. So we did it, got level 40, we got our new spells, we can pour it around a lot better now, and stuff like that. We got that last level, uh, but we banged out a few levels off these guards, it was really good. I've been playing way more than I was, and I've been playing way more than I should be. Um, so I need to slow it down. We kind of kind of banged it out there. Anyways, I will see you in the next video.